grumpy today, haven't you? <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited because today is our first time having actual guests at our house for an episode. And as you can tell from Buddy's support shirt here, we have the Sutomu Lures crew here. This is Lisa from <laughs> Sutomu Lures and the rest of the crew, they're unloading a big ahi as we speak. My friend Garrett from Sutomu Lures is going to come walk us through the process of how to cut a tuna. Are you excited, buddy? Today I'm going to grill an ahi collar, also known <laughs> as an ahi kama. Yellowfin tuna. We call it an ahi. Over 100 pounds. We caught this the other day. Now we're going to cut it up and Kimmy's going to cook some of it. Isn't it your first ahi of the summer? Nope, this is my third oh ahi. Oh my of gosh. The summer. We that? already gave away the first one. Oh wow. <laughs> He's just generous. Because usually you, your first ahi of the season, you give them away. Normally, your first ahi of the season, you cut it up, you give it to your friends, your family, the guys that helped you out, um, for sure. That's kind of the Hawaii tradition. But, you know, every few, you cut them up and you give them away. So. We can give this one away. Sweet. Yeah. So while Garrett walks us through the ahi cutting, I'm looking forward to a piece that isn't your prime cut. It's right here. This is what I want to cook up. The collar, also known as the kama. Lisa, you're just like so badass with that <laughs> power tool. So basically, they took off the head, which is going to be safe for all the good meat in there. The only part they're really not using oh, yeah. is the bottom jaw. And I think coming up next, Lisa's gonna start to remove the comma, which is my piece. Yep. Not our dogs. Oh, that's a big yawn, buddy. Is it I your get, nap time? That. Okay. There's our comma. Sweet. Most guys throw this on the grill. You pretty much cannot do this wrong. I'm gonna fire this up. Hey, all. What up, what up? Oh my gosh, this is too classic. This is Laal from Mana Foods, and look at this, it's our poi dealer. What is the wild harvest of the day? Are you ready? Yes. White sapote, some uh. banana poi. <laughs> Street man, you know what I mean? Good for, you know, catch cramps. <laughs> Be strong. Then we got that guava banana, so this is another good one I like. Mana Foods, stay strong. <laughs> <laughs> Food always tastes better when love is put into it. I feel the love. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is perfect. We're we got, we got our fish cutters. We got our poi delivery. I'm going to go take a nap now. Yeah. Carry on, everybody. Bye, buddy. This is a lot of ahi. Look at that cooler. This is all prime, beautiful, fresh Hawaiian ahi. But that's not what we're going to use today. Now that the hard work is done, this is my job. You'd be surprised at how much meat is, is left. Watch this. Are you ready? Just use a spoon and scrape. It's such awesome meat. Like you can use it for spicy tuna. And we have a recipe for, for spicy style poke on our YouTube right now or you can use it to make fish patties. Even after such a good job of taking apart a fish, how much meat, and I'm reluctant to even say scraps because a lot of people who really know fish consider this some of the best meat of the ahi, the meat right on the bones. He makes all his own fishing lures and he used to make it in a closet like literally this big. <laughs> So what's, uh, what's easier, shooting or catching an ahi? I think they're both hard and that's why it's such a special fish. It really is. It's like the fish of all fish, whether you're fishing or spear fishing. Had we just not scraped, we would have missed out on all this beautiful meat. This is a lot of poke. I mean, you saw those beautiful four huge slabs, huge quarters of just prime ahi meat, and that's what everybody wants when it comes to, you know, people who buy fish. Yeah. 
are right. most people who eat fish. Right, I and mean, that's what you think about when you think about ahi, but what I love is that this is what we're going to eat. Fisherman's you know? cuts. Not that we're, exactly, fisherman's cuts, I like that. We know the prime cuts are good, but these cuts are, are precious better. in themselves, yeah. <laughs> They're kind of better. After we scrape the bones, that is what you call a clean frame. Here's the recipe, my recipe for ahi kama. It's very, very complicated. Hawaiian salt and pepper. Generous. And I'm not kidding, that's it. Keeping it so simple because you got all the goodness of the oils and the fattiness and the flavor in here. And you can make a, a nice dipping sauce. I'll make a little ponzu sauce. But so this is going right on the grill. Grill is super hot. So no matter what kind of grill you're using, I'll just get it hot and let it do its thing. So I just learned about this. My friend JR, I went down to watch him cut fish and he was like, oh, you should save the skin and, and make chicken skin. And I was like, what? He's like, what, you don't save the skin? I was like, no. And so he's like, bah, take this home, cut them up into strips, throw them in a the frying pan, the thing will come out just like chicken skin, so. I've, yeah. ne I've never had ahi skin before. I don't before. think many people know about so, that. So, so. I, I would love to try it. <laughs> That's what we'll do. So you leave the scales on. Yeah, you leave the scales on. That's what makes it awesome. You, exactly. It's not that much work. Exactly. So you basically, you're using the skin that's closer to the belly. Yeah. And you're cutting it into pieces. And then all this little extra meat is just bonus. bonus. So the ahi kama is quite simple. What I do to it, salt and pepper and grill it. But we will make a little bit of a dipping sauce. We'll make a ponzu sauce, which is essentially just shoyu, which is soy sauce. And lemon juice, but we're going to add some green onions. That should be plenty. And we're going to add a Hawaiian chili pepper just for a little spice. I'm cutting up these green onions. So simple. Lemon that Justin just picked for me from our neighbor's house. We'll do some lemon juice. Chop up that beautiful Hawaiian chili and some shoyu, some soy sauce. Give that a little stir. Perfect. Gary's gonna throw the skin in the oil. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll poke the ahi in a second. I wanna watch this. It's exciting. Look at that. Somebody get a close up. We'll just let that go. Okay, let's go poke the collar. I want to flip it. Some people say might say not to flip it because you might lose some juice. I want the char on both sides. Look at what he's doing here. I don't want to mess up his program. You got it. No, I, I don't know. Like fried taco. For anyone that's watched um, the fried taco episode, and I said, Uncle Billy taught me how Uncle Billy is Garrett's dad. So <laughs> I learned so much of my cooking from him and his whole family. I figure we have fish and we have poi. We should have some nice local veggies. Hamakua oyster mushrooms. Looks good to me. You need some salt or anything? Yeah, or? maybe a dash of salt okay. on it. Okay, a lot of salt, I know. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Fish chips. Chicharron. Mm. In other words, it's like pork rinds. Yeah, 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 like pork rinds. It's so good. Pork rinds of the Fish sea. pork rinds. These are all looking good. Let's just get to the main event, shall we? Booyah. Yes, this is done now. So now that's what we're looking for. See how this meat just is coming right off of the bone. That is that. And see, so the thing about collars is it's so cool because you have all types of different meats and grains and dark meats and light meats and different pockets. And these pockets just hold all this moisture and juice and whatnot. And now we'll just put that sauce right over it. Serve it right on this board. Everyone can gather around, eat it with chopsticks, snack on Garrett's fried ahi skin, load up some vegetables, add some poi, and that's dinner. Skin is excellent. It really is just pork rinds of the sea. Well, I think you're 
So always first, it's always like a family crew event when it comes to cutting an ahi. It's something that everyone does together. And now we have a cooler full of prime cuts to give away to people we love. But when it comes to what we're feeding our own crew and family, it's the collar and it's the skins. And it is delicious. <laughs>